Okay, we can also use the real and complex solutions to find obviously complex solutions. So we're coming back in here with our, our i and a plus bi. So if we look at the first one, what I'm going to do is I'm going to just put this into two brackets and I'm going to skip a step here. I'm not going to make it x equals z squared. I'm just going to say, well, I can have a z squared in the first bracket and I can have a z squared in the second bracket. I want them to give me negative 32 and I multiply them together. So I think this is going to give me negative 8 and positive 4. So I look at my first bracket and it gives me z squared plus 4 equals 0. So z squared equals negative 4 and z equals the square root of negative 4, which is 2i square root of negative 1 and I'm going to put plus and minus 2i that's two of my solutions now because it's z to the power of 4 at the start there are four solutions the others are just going to come from that other bracket and these should be much more much more straightforward so z squared equals 8 so z is the square root of 8 and so z is plus or minus 2 root 2. So here we are with my four answers, two there, two there. Quite a straightforward one to begin with. Now let's look at this one, find all the zeros of this particular equation. So I'm going to, I can already see, that I'm just copying it out again, I'm going to make it equal to zero, but what I can already see is that I can divide everything by three. So that's probably going to keep it much neater for me when I come to factorize. 3z minus 3. Now inside that bracket, in the first part, I can see z squared, z minus 1. And in the second part, I can see another factor of 3. Actually, this 3 is kind of superfluous at the moment. It's not needed because I'm going to divide both sides by that 3. And I have z squared plus 3 equal to 0. So z equals the square root of 3, so plus and minus, square root of negative 3 rather. There's two of my answers. And the other one, very straightforward, z minus 1 equals 0, so z equals 1. So I've got, let's just count up the roots here. I've got one, two roots here. I've got another root here. That's three roots altogether. It was a, cu a cubic at the start here. So I'm looking for three roots. So we can always do them by doing hidden quadratics or perhaps they are difference between cubes, sum of cubes, difference of cubes, or maybe they're just one like I've just done where we have to do the factor by grouping.